I'm glad we're getting to have this moment because tomorrow's a big day for you, Meredith. Obviously on World Mental Health Day, you announced the single, you are not alone. And tomorrow's the big day it comes out. I yeah, want to talk You're about the first that. person I'm like speaking to about this, like it just at least the details of it. So I'm really excited that this topic means a lot to you because obviously it, it does to me as well. Absolutely. It's an honor to hear that, first of all. And I do want to talk about the single, but before we get into that, can you kind of talk about your history and why this was so important to you? After my second world tour, I um, noticed I started having these um, panic attacks, if you will. And um, the, it's, it's significant because I am someone who, you know, a lot of people know me as an anti-bullying activist. And I sort of feel like I, feel like I had overcome um, battles that I haven't talked about much, such as OCD in middle school, um, low self-esteem, obviously, as a result of bullying. But what I wasn't really aware of, um, and this is sort of why, you know, it's even more important personally now to, to do this project, is that um, episodes of post-traumatic stress disorder came up. So all sorts of episodes of anxiety had sort of um, resurfaced. And, and I guess the thing that I learned was, um, especially on tour in 2018, uh, mental health is not something if you have chronic anxiety, if you have, you know, it's it's for many people, it's unfortunately not something that we can just like fix and not have to take care of. Um, because I felt, you know, I was like, oh, I'm on I'm, I'm top of my game. I'm accomplishing, you know, my dreams like this is so cool. Like I don't, you know, I'm not someone with anxiety anymore. But at the end of the day, um, being aware of of the fact that, you know, anxiety can come back, you know, whatever your condition is may come back and taking care of it is really important. Um, and we all deserve to feel okay. I feel like those are just a lot of lessons I learned. So that's something that I experienced. Um, obviously I've been, people will say I've disappeared for a while, but I think it's um, really important that people, you know, engage in self-care for, for that reason. And I'm so excited to be back with this message. Um, that was a really long answer and I'm not sure it ended. That was perfect. That was perfect. And I'm so glad you took care of yourself and you're coming back with this. What have you been doing for yourself to kind of stay busy and positive during this pandemic, this weird time? Yeah. So I think during this weird time, it, it's been really important that I, I well, First of all, to answer your question before, the <laughs> you were not alone message was inspired from fans. Um, and I, what's weird is I thought that I was alone in a lot of struggles, a lot of mental health um, challenges and obstacles that, I, that I've dealt with. Um, but I think especially during the pandemic and um, you know, through this song, I've learned that even though like it's an isolating time and we can feel really isolated, um, we're not. And just knowing that other people uh, are battling something similar and have gotten over it. Like a lot of the celebrities in the song have incredible stories of overcoming, um, you know, anxiety and, and issues and, and battling mental health issues as well. And they've come out on the other side. So I'm so honored to sort of have had the experience of learning um, not only that fans around the world have gone through it, but role models to millions from different countries with fan bases, with countries I've never even been to, um, have, have experienced things that I thought I was alone on. So I feel like this pandemic has been um, isolating for many, but also I hope this song can show people that um, the problems that they're facing are not hopeless. There is light at the end of the tunnel. And I am really excited about that message. Absolutely, as am I. And you know, <laughs> as we talked about, it's a weird time. So I think there's a lot of people who are experiencing these things like anxiety and whatnot for the first time during the pandemic. What would you tell someone who this is new to? What kind of advice would you give them? Yeah, um, and, and again, this is going back to, I just said this, but um, feeling isolated when I felt like when I was 13 and I had obsessive thoughts and I was, you know, and I didn't really understand like the anxiety I was feeling. Um, I think the scariest part of it was, um, you know, on top of it be being bullied and feeling alone, feeling isolated and feeling like nobody else in the world has your condition can make it scarier. So my advice is, and <laughs> I sound repetitive, but knowing that others, have had it and have gotten through it, I think helped me sort of be able to pinpoint like, oh, this person also had these thoughts and then were able to like get better. So that sort of made me feel a little bit less scared. So that's 
I think part of why I'm so passionate about this project, I hope I hope that through through the other people involved in the song, people can people can know that um, whatever their condition is, there is help available and it can and they can get better. So that is, I think, and that's also why we're we're benefiting the National Alliance on Mental Illness, which is America's largest grassroots uh, nonprofit, and they've partnered with me, and I'm honored because they're amazing. They um, they offer free helpline service for people, so. Um, when I say you are not alone, I mean it. You can, <laughs> in the, in the, different countries have wonderful protocols but uh, that, that I've worked with, but partnering in the States with NAMI has been really an honor. So that was also a long answer. <laughs> I, I love it. No, Meredith, let it fly. Let's talk more about the <laughs> single. You are not alone. How did it come together? How did it get started? Yeah, so, um, okay. I, oh my gosh, this has sort of been in the works for years. I had, um, sort of been inspired by the fact that I got like hundreds of thousands of messages after, like I had a song go viral. And before that I was pretty badly bullied. So my life sort of did a 180, which has been, um, you know, my best friend and Ari and I always talk about like how it's comical and ironic and weird. But once I had that platform, I didn't know I would get responses from like being an anti-bullying activist. In fact, I had pushback from um, some people in the, the industry, people would say like, oh, I'm not sure that this will resonate. I'm not sure, you know, and then I guess getting those messages, you know what I mean? Getting those comments, seeing, seeing people from, you know, all over the world and seeing really the fans, like I said, just say like me too. Like I'm also bullied. I mean, it was such a learning experience for me because like, you know, I grew up in a small school, so I didn't know that like other people were the weird kid. Like I thought it was just me. <laughs> So, um, so that was sort of really amazing to, to, to learn that. And that's when I sort of realized like, wow, this girl in England thinks that she's the only one going through it. Wouldn't it be cool if I could tell her she's not. So I started telling people, you know, on tour, like you are not alone. And just because of how important I thought that that was to say, um, and that's when, I mean, well, that's not when, but for a while, you know, working with celebrities, uh, other celebrities in, in my career has also opened my eyes to like, these are people like these are other, you know, role models using their platform. Lo you know, they loved what I was doing. And I've been fortunate enough to collaborate with some awesome people. And that's sort of when, you know, we've had and then all of a sudden, you know, we've had people reaching out saying this is great. So we decided why don't we work with um, labels, music companies and celebrities from around the world to uh, on this message, um, since it's, since it so many people feel alone, but also share the similar stories. So that was sort of the idea. Absolutely. And you mentioned before it benefits the National Alliance on Mental Illness. Is that what it's called? Yes. NAMI. <laughs> NAMI, um, yes. Why did you choose to work with them in particular? What do you love about them? So I love NAMI for several reasons. Um, I think, you know, it's a coincidence. First of all, their, so their slogan is you are not alone for one. Perfect. Um, which is really cool. I, I've actually heard of them prior to our formal partnership. Um, they've been such a great support on this project, but I, I've seen billboards and I've seen, you know, like they're, I was like, wow, that's really important what they're doing. Um, and just, I've had the chance to speak with some of their, um, some of the people at NAMI. And what I'm excited about on this project is the fact that, you know, our message is you are not alone and you can get help and you can get better. And, and we're asking for, you know, we're trying to hold a phone fundraiser and, and all the proceeds of the song go to them. Um, and, and the pros, I'm sorry, and the proceeds of the song go to them. But what we're doing is like, what I hope happens is that when people hear the song and see what NAMI does, they will call the helpline. And um, that helpline is implemented so people aren't alone and have a, have a number to call. So that's sort of what I think makes it such a perfect um, nonprofit, especially with what we're trying to do. Sure. And, you know, as we talked about, there's so many different people besides yourself from all over the world on the song. Give me a rundown, Meredith. Who else am I going to hear on this thing? Oh, my gosh. OK, so um, for for people who are keen in the K-pop world, uh, <laughs> you will hear Minzy. She is incredible. She is awesome. And she's been through so many inspirational things in her life and career that I've gotten to learn through this project. Um, Kawa Kesi, who's from Ghana, another person who has an incredibly inspirational, uh, like 
overcoming mental, you know, illness story and um, millions of fans also who, you know, from definitely from a far away, different country. Um, one of the biggest people in Afropop, Ricardo Banks, I think is, is incredible because he uses his voice for um, some awesome causes. And, you know, he's, he's been a big proponent of this project as well. So he's from Nigeria. Um, I mean, so really there's people from all over there's, uh, and gosh, I'm totally blanking. And then from, from America, you have, you know, the, the a founding member of the Supremes, Mary Wilson. So, That's so, <laughs> so, so, so I'm very, very excited. Um, oh, and uh, Asis Carr, who's been in some of the biggest Bollywood. So we really have a mix of, of different cultures coming together um, for something that I could not be more excited about. Oh, that's so fun. I can't wait to hear it. So tomorrow it premieres when and where can I find it immediately? Um, yeah. So on Tiltify, we have a fundraiser where um, that is where you can go and you can watch the um, video premiere there. At, oh, sorry, you asked when and where. So 3 p.m. tomorrow Perfect. Um, on Tiltify, uh, 3 p.m. Eastern time. And Tiltify basically has like the YouTube video link where fans can talk and stuff like that um and that's and that's where it's going to premiere and tiltify also has a fundraiser where you can do get a signed poster from us um like a cease car and i and a few other people are going to sign the poster and um fans can get that join the zoom call there's all sorts of fun stuff very cool in addition to this song meredith are there any other projects you've been working on musically or not yeah, um, so I actually am, we are, through this campaign, there's going to be a lot of fun surprises, which I'm really excited about, but things that I can talk about is new music coming um, down the pipeline, and I am really just hoping that through this pandemic, we can continue to use our voices for, for positive causes, and I'm excited for future projects with the National Alliance on Mental Illness as well. Absolutely. So this is kind of unrelated to you are not alone, but I was doing some research on you, Meredith. <laughs> I've got to, I got to preface this with, I, for one, am a huge Degrassi fan. Oh my gosh. And yes. I watched one of your music videos. You got Drew from Degrassi in your music video, <laughs> Meredith. I also, I'm pretty sure I messed up the kiss scene. <laughs> no, it was amazing. Can you talk about that experience just for me, please? Um, well, it's all, I mean, absolutely. I mean, I, I can tell you that like, just from a personal standpoint, seeing the music video itself, when I was like, I, you know, I, I cringe because of like, I, you know, we're all critical of ourselves. And I was just like, oh, I messed that up. But I was so proud of the concept. Um, you know, it was, it was my, um, you know, my, my management team had, had years ago, I'd come up with this, this great idea inspired by the, uh, by an episode of the Twilight Zone, um, which I, yes, <laughs> I can see that now. Well, I mean, because I mean, if you've done research, I mean, you know, that I'm, you know, hyperactive as heck in just about every <laughs> interview. So I think that that's sort of the idea behind, you know, doing a video where like, I was always weird and told that being different is bad but like what if you know especially like it was sort of a metaphor for my experience in my career like then I learned that wait a minute like all the things I was made fun of for are actually good mm -hmm. what if what do you know so so that was sort of like a really um important message for kids who sort of hate themselves in high school but just to like let them know like hey just so you know it's it's actually your your unique traits are good so don't you know <laughs> yes that's a great message I love that thank you here in our state of Maine, Meredith, our motto is the way life should be because we're a very wholesome state. So I yeah. want to know, according to Meredith O'Connor, what is the way life should be? Um, okay, so the way life should be. That's a good question. <laughs> um, okay, I'm definitely going to answer it and then like an hour later be like, that was so, I should have. No, no. <laughs> okay. That's the best way. Okay, so. Um, so life, I think, okay, so life should be embarking on things that make us proud of ourselves. That's perfect. And yeah, and I guess just in, it, it, pursuing the things that our, are our strengths. Yes. Yes. Life is too short not to. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, I agree. By the way, I love your coat. <laughs> I've been like, I've been like, I need to like, oh my gosh, it is so awesome. It is like representative of all the things I love. What life should be like is your coat. 
That's what I'm here for, Meredith. Well, <laughs> that was perfect. It was so great to talk with you. Cannot wait for the premiere tomorrow. And until then, I hope you get some sleep tonight. I'm sure it'll be exciting. I'm so excited for, for more conversations like this. And, and I can't wait to see uh, for people to hear it. So thank you again uh, for, for I, this is great. And I, um, I look forward to it as well. So thank you so much.